Right now, one more day to go for early in person voting in Virginia. Election day is on Tuesday, but already more than 900,000 people have voted. Well, News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton joining us now. He talked with voters today. And Brendan, you're about to show off some new technology that we'll be using on election night. Yes, this is our exclusive election results heat map. This is what it looks like now. This is from 2017 because we obviously don't have the results for 2021 yet, but this is what it looks like. We can see the overall picture where Ralph Northam defeated Ed Gillespie in 2017 by nine. We can look at the entire state by locality and see how the results are. Blue is for Democrats, red is for Republicans. We can also look at it this way, showing concentrations of support. You can see the deep red in southwest Virginia and then more blue as we go into northern Virginia like Fairfax County and Arlington and places like that. We can also look at our local area, including Virginia Beach, which as you see there, the difference was 6,000 Northam won Virginia Beach in 2017. And that is, of course, an area that Republicans would like to win back. Now, I was at the registrar's office in Virginia Beach this morning, checking out some early voting in Virginia Beach, and it was raining, it was windy, it was not pleasant, but there was a line all the way down the sidewalk. Now, early voting in Virginia is higher compared to the 2017 race, but lower compared with 2020. I think it's smart to do it early, then you don't have to worry about it, get it out of the way. Only probably like 25 minutes, even though it was raining, it was pretty good. It was easy. It was worth standing in the wind and the rain to vote. <laughs> it really was. And as we had a good laugh, we got inside, the sun came out, so maybe that's a good sign that who we voted for will win. So early in-person voting ends tomorrow at 5 p.m. And then we'll have election day and election night where we exclusively can track the results with this technology. It should be a busy night. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3.